Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and once again I'm back in Ireland for Crusader Kings 2. If you paid attention during the last episode, you might have noticed that the king died. But being that this is a dynasty simulator, that's just part of the game. The kings die and the heirs take over. In this case, I am now playing as King Brian II of Mimu. Uh, yeah, so what's going on here is... Well, we've conquered six, or we have control of six territories in, in Ireland. This is a complete duchy. We have a valid claim over Ulster, but we don't actually have direct control just yet. Now, uh, let's see, we helped this guy from Tyrone take it over, but now he's pretty mad at us. He just doesn't, he, he wants the duchy of Ulster, he's a claimant to the title. He also has this short reign penalty. Now, this happens as soon as the new king takes over. Everybody basically gets a penalty to their opinion because of short reign. So yeah, short reign, short reign. So there's a bunch of people that need to be made happy here. Um, some of these might help. These are, oh, Mayor of Donegal. He's not really giving me as much money as he could. Mayor of Dundelgan, whatever that is. Earl of Desmond. Oh, why is he not giving me anything? Uh, yeah. No, the noble vassal tax is really small. But yeah, Mayor of Donegal and the Mayor of Dundelgan. You know what? Okay. So we've got a lot of things going on. Uh, actually, we should take a look at the Chronicle. So this actually explains what has happened. It, the year is 1078. In 1066, the Chronicle of House Urbrain, which is contained in the record of its yearly fortunes, glories, and difficulties, King Merchard of Mumu Garrett married Gwenolyn, daughter of King Bledin of Gwynedd. 1067, King Merchard of Mumu went to war against Count Ragnvald of Urnhrim. King Merchard of Mumu lost the battle against the army commanded by Count Ragnvald. King Merchard successfully led his armies, taking Port Leash from the enemy. I think that's what that is. King Merchard successfully led his army, taking Duncassel from the enemy. King Merchard successfully led his army, take Unach Armachalam from the enemy. Yeah, we can skip over, let's see. King Merchard won the war against Count Ragnavald. He usurped the county of Aramachalam from Ragnavald der Verdilchiethriard. That's how you pronounce it. I, I'm very good at my pronunciation. In 1069, I went to war against Earl Murtich of Desmond. But that's what's Desmond, right? I'm not going to pronounce that. Successfully led his armies, taking Dunnasade from the enemy. He won the war against Earl Mushid. And then I supported King Bledin of Gwynedd in war against his enemies. Tens of thousands of crow birds invaded Ermim just before the harvest, causing much damage to the farm. I didn't notice that. People in Ermaharim claim to have seen two suns at the same time. Oh my god, Ireland is becoming Tatooine. King Merchard went to war against Earl Rurdi of Tirconnell. I was victorious against them, and I eventually won it. Let's see what else happened. I went to war against the Earl Aid of Tyrone, and I won that as well. And then, going on, victorious in this battle, I was victorious in this battle, I finally won the war for Tyrone, and I created the du title, the Duchy of Ulster, confirming his growing power with much ceremony and celebration. But then in the next year, things were to go downhill. King Queen Gwenolyn, the wife of King Merchard of Mumu, died of pneumonia in March in 1078. Then King Duke Merchard of Ulster died comatose in bed on 16th of June 1078. His son, Brian, succeeded to the throne of the duchy with a grand ceremony in Port Laird, Port Leash, or Port Laird, I don't know, whatever. Point is, it's all changed. You can track all this. <sighs> yeah, so actually, I should probably start playing this game. I think five minutes into this video and nothing is happening. Okay, so I have a child that is lacking a guardian, and she's a half-sister. You know, 
Is she that important? You know what I can do, right, is... Okay, where is it? Go to my vassals and say, hey, so this guy doesn't like me, but he doesn't like me by much, so I can... I could get him to like me more by asking him to educate her, right? So if I right click, educate child and pick, uh, that's her, right? You see, my opinion, his opinion will increase by 20. Yes, send that. So off he goes and you'll say, thank you very much. Okay, so that's one. Now I need to pick an ambition. Uh, do I have family? I have kids and whatever, so I can't pick any of those. I can... I could become a paragon of virtue, or become king of Ireland. Hmm. I'm not sure I want to take that just yet. Allows unlimited use of the subjugation causes belly within the kingdom. I don't want to do that because I think as soon as I pick that, it'll probably make all the other powers in the area mad at them, at me, and they'll want to, you know, come and attack me. So I'm just going to leave that there for now. Um, what else? So this guy, incidentally, over the last few years, he's been his own thing. He's been run by the AI. And in that time, he has picked to focus his efforts and energies on seduction. Oh, yeah. Uh, relations, which means under the relations, we have some lovers. He loves Aedmanir, whatever, and whose liege is the guy from Tyrone. He is the usurper of Tyrone. He does not like me. And him? He doesn't like me nearly as much, so maybe I should try killing him off. Oh! Countess Imag of Tyrone is my lover and has a high opinion of me. Uh, and she has a high opinion of me. Huh, I wonder, can I assassinate him and make his heir? Yeah, that might work. Let's try this. I'm going to try a beginning an assassination plot. Why not? Let's try adding... Wait, but she's my lover! No? She's not gonna help me out? God, she's like, no. Why not? Like, can't we just, like, do some of the hardy stuff? Okay, well, this... She'll help. Sure. Uh, the mayor of Colrain, I think that is. Maybe send a bit of gift. I, I can pay 41. Hmm, that's a lot of money to pay him. I'm going to do that, and then I'm going to send that. Okay, that'll help just a bit, but I don't think this is ever going to get more powerful enough to do anything just yet. Maybe the spy master can be recruited or something like that. Ah, uh, how, how do I get her on my side? I could break up with her. Mm, that probably won't make her happy. I got a lot of whispering in the background there. There's a lot of whispering going on in the background. Okay. Uh, well, that may not be the best plan, and I think I've just spent a bunch of money on things. I could buy indulgence for my sins. No, thank you. Okay. I should probably start the clock now. Let's take a look at the army situation. We have about 3,000 available. Oh, you know what? This guy in Desmond... I think we can probably take his title away. We should probably see what titles I actually have. I have the Petty Kingdom, the Duchy, County of this, County of that, County of that. Ah, eh, bunch of counties. Um, may you live in harmony. Yes, I will accept the guardianship. So at least she's dealt with. So previously I couldn't do anything with this dude because I had my father had a truce, but now... I am the child. I could do nefarious things. No valid plots. I don't think I can plot to steal that away from him. But it might be an issue later on. Uh, I might. I really want to take his thing away so I get more direct power. I can delegate counties, I believe. Yeah, let's see. We have county, 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 county. And duchy duchy. Okay, actually, that's not. That's fine. We don't. We don't need any more counties right now. Um, let's see what the these guys are up to. Are you raising? Tr you're training troops in Urmelham. You should retrain troops in there. Train troops in Tudamana Mahana Mahena. 
And you could build a spy net. No, is it, wait, is this is the one this will... Corruption uncovered, plot... Ah, da, 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 da. Plot uncovered, thugs attack spy master, build spy network. Plot power increase, yes. Click that. Uh, build a spy network in Tyrone, yes. And the bishop should do something to make everyone happy. I need to make this spy master happy as well. I'm going to award him an honorary title of Master of the Hunt. Oh, excellent! My liege, since I've arrived at Twadhermhelmham, there have never been any shortage of soldiers reinforcing the troops stationed there. Under our guidance, they believe fame and fortune awaits them. So I get a 50% bonus to reinforcement rate. So I should probably improve religious things with him, since he's the only one that matters. Could probably appoint some new people here. What's the law status? We have an heir who is only four years old that has a rather low opinion of me. But yeah, that's just a four-year-old. Why does he hate me? Why does he have like minus 100? He has... He's a pretender and claimant to the petty kingdom. He doesn't like it because of the order of succession. He's a title claimant. And he knows all this despite being two years old. That is one unenlightened child. Uh, yeah, that's really interesting. Okay, well, I'm wondering how many this thing's gonna have. Oh, my co-conspirator has procured a poisonous viper and sends word. It will soon dig its fangs into Earl Domino. Just don't point that thing at me. So actually, how is my plot? My plot is only 73%. I'm surprised that actually is doing, that happened. Because usually it has to get to 100% to trigger. I wonder what I need to do to found a kingdom. I need a thousand prestige, yeah. Okay. Realm size at least 35 and three duchy titles. Okay. Or, or. I'm an adult. I'm not a prisoner. Oh, I do have prisoners though. Can I ransom them? Ransom? No, ransom, ransom. I could release them or I could execute them. Derble. Um, why are these people prisoners? Liege is the Countess of Ulster. Oh yeah, that's right, okay. I say I can't ransom prisoner, right? No. Failure, he managed to evade the snake which slipped away in the darkness. A massive snake hunt is now underway. But at least no one suspects my involvement. Okay, time to declare war here. I figure I have enough people, right? This thing... Yeah, it has a small garrison. This has a slightly bigger garrison, but I should be able to put, pull together enough armies. Okay, so pause the game. I need to declare war. Uh, I just, just check. No, you're not going to become a vassal. So, since you're not going to become a vassal, I'm going to make a, my de jure claim on Ulster. There we go. And so now because I've declared war, I can raise my military. And actually for safety's reasons, I should probably pull them all into this this territory here, right? Run them all up there. Run them up there because the last thing I want is her army to come out and uh, you know, attack me very quickly. Time, time, time. So they're going up. They're just going to wait there. I guess they're not doing anything right now. I did click the declare war button, right? I I think I must have screwed that up. Hold on. No, 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 no. Stay there. I think I screwed that up. Uh, it says declare war. I, I think I screwed that up completely. Oh dear, okay. Disband. Okay, try declaring war again. Apparently, I'm really terrible at this. Does your clay? Oh, we should have clicked on it. Yeah, okay. But the send button just worked. <sighs> okay, now they bring out the armies. Okay. Military, raise my armies. <sighs> okay, you guys are coming down here. Maybe I'll send you there instead. 
We, we don't want our armies to be caught on the run. <sighs> Kaiser Heinrich of the Holy Roman Empire has set up Pope Herman Fried, Herman Fried as an anti-pope named Pope Agapetus III. Well, uh, that's a very interesting development. Uh, Danach de Ferrer has become master of the hunt. Okay, this, these guys are not coming out of their place, so let's just move everybody to here. That should make a little, that should make everything happen a little faster. I want to obviously collect all my armies into one ginormous death blob. Although, death blob is a relative term here. Domnal is in there. Come on. Get your butt to Breline. Whatever that is. Cardinal Landolf of Acerno was given a seat at the College of Cardinals. Well, good for you. I hope it's a nice, warm seat or something. I don't know. If combat takes place here, Defender will get a bonus. And another child lacks a guardian. And she doesn't like me either. I don't like you either. Uh, uh, uh. Who among my vassals feel could use a thing? You! You can educate a child. Um, educate, educate. You're being educated. See so you! And that will improve the thing. You're, you're maybe my bastard child, but all the same. The reputation is there to be had. And now the battle commences in Ulster. And will continue right up to the modern day. It's just all shades of conflict forevermore. Wait. Oh, yes. Yes, I will accept your guardianship. Yes, brilliant. I have won this first battle. And in fact... Oh my goodness! Edmer! Who was my lover, right? She died in childbirth. Uh, but she is my daughter, right? Now wait a second. And that's her liege, so... She is an illegitimate daughter. Born out of wedlock and has not been legitimized. And that's her name. Ugh... The mother's husband will be most displeased. Now, wait a second. Who? There's the daughter. Um, how do I do this? Family tree. I'm confused. Oh, she she was him. And wait a second. He was. Hold on. He is the. Is he the heir to Tyrone? Oh no. He's he has a different colored beard. Ah, oh, that's him. Okay, so... Man, that's that's terrible. I was like, uh... I was boning both the... The, the king and the king's sons. Oh, you know, I'm not... Well, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna legitimize it. I gotta pick one or the other, right? I can't... I can't make the husband not displeased. Most displeased. Can't I just close it? Little Moda is my spitting image. Well, Aidmare is dead. I don't really think that she'll have much use here. Why is it running really, really slowly? Okay, so we need to complete these... We need to complete this siege here. Thankfully, there's not a huge number of defenders going on. Once the siege is over, I will have... Um, let me see. Seven, and there will be... I'll have more than half the counties in Ireland. So I just need to... I need to... You know, I, from that point on, I should have a strong hold to, like, continue my assault on the rest of Ireland. Oh, man. This just takes a really, really long time. Right, they are outnumbered. They have a... I guess I have slightly better technology. Their morale is fading over time. She will not accept my offer of 
you know, off offer of peace in the way that I would like it to. So I should take a look and see who's weak here, right? This guy, he is pretty decent. Oh, this is Dublin. Dublin's pretty, you know, badass in terms of a capital because it has all these places you can put on Le Leash or Lagan. Oh, my liege, I have good news from my mission to Tyrone. During my visit to the coast court of Bishop Aid, I have filled his ears with poisonous slander and evil rumors about his spiritual leader. Their relation has been thoroughly sabotaged, and I foresee there will be anything but good from now on. Okay, so Bishop Aid has a lower opinion of me still, uh, and the Pope has a really terrible opinion of me. Man, nobody likes me. I, I think like is a relative term here. Mayor Cumnall of Limerick, Limerick, maybe, has died after a period of illness. Cardinal, whatever. And our knowledge of shipbuilding has increased to level 3. We can build level 3 ships. Hmm. Defending levy, the defending gar- Oh, they're, they got a levy coming back here. Well, let's just hope this continues. Okay, well, I, I've I've got this whole uh, seduction thing going on. Who else can I pick? I, I'm thinking that this guy does he have a wife? No. Okay, look, where's where's the hotties at? No, she's no good. What does she look like? She has a pretty low opinion of me. She's 44. She's too old. Uh, not too old. Ah. Oh. Uh, yeah, that's more like it. She doesn't like me that much, but uh, you know, let's uh, seduce the lady. Focus your seduction efforts on Countess Dubo, Dubchok Blake, Dub Dubchok Blake, in the hopes of gaining a new lover. I shall bring my seduction skills to bear on Countess Dubchok Blake. Until I have her wrapped around my finger, she will be mine. Yes, all fairs and love and war and everything. Actually, am I at war? Maybe I won't be able to do that while I'm on the battlefield. Oh, oh yeah, 15th November. Let's speed things up a little. This battle needs to be over. I have ambitions. I have things to do. Come, come. And, 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 Oh, Bishop Mia Cogs. Oh, and our knowledge of cavalry has increased. And someone has died a natural death, which means there is an open council position. Furthermore, I have won my battle, and I can enforce peace. I can enforce my demands. And therefore, the Munsterian Ulsterian de jour war over Ulster has ended. King Brian of Mumu has won. One title can be created. What is the title I can create? I can create the title of Kingdom of Ireland. The, I think before I do that, I need to... Uh, I think before... I can't create it, right? Because I need piety. And I cannot afford the cost just yet. And I need 51% of the counties, which I have. It would give me 400 prestige and cost a ton of gold and piety. So I need piety right now. Which means I need a court chaplain who will do nice things for me. Uh, he's got pretty good learning. Um... And he wants to get married. Well, he's a courtier and he's my kinsman. Sure, you can be my court chaplain. Um, count, he can proselytize, research cultural tech, or improve religious relations with my men. It's a good place to start. So how do I gain piety? Can I go on a pilgrimage yet? Fish! Fresh fish straight from the river. Fruits and vegetables a day are too old. The clergy of Tudharm is not happy about the merchant setting up stalls in all the church squares and demands that it be forbidden. 
Um, if I say I agree, I will gain piety. However, if I they do no harm, okay, I gain piety, but I will lose money, and the mayor won't like me. But you know, I need I need to work on this piety thing since I want to become king. Ah, this person's oh Durble, yeah, I should I should let I'll let her out. Yes, you've been released. You'll actually like me. Susul. Garb. Who's Garb? Yeah, you can you can be let out. Can I ransom you, actually? No. No interest in base reluctant. No, oh, okay, well. Ah. Uh, she's just like a kid. I think it would be bad news to execute these kids, and my thing's getting pretty busy in there. Okay, so nevertheless, nevertheless, we should uh, pick the ambition to become King of Ireland. Because I think, honestly, to become King of Ireland, I'm going to have to get a bunch of piety anyway. The ambition cannot be cancelled, which could be really bad news. I think it might hate make everyone hate me. So if I click on this dude, does he like me any less now, or does that matter? Er, Donal. Hold on, can I, can I, uh, can offer vassalization? Not yet. I can't erase, arrange, I can't, like, declare war just yet. What about this dude? Declare war? King, I must have a valid cuss's belly. So much for that. Oh, you know what? Uh, I should probably disband my army. Yes, that would be a really good uh, dismissed personal levies. There we go. Army is now dismissed. The journey to the court of Earl Aid of Briffin was dreary, but I managed to chance upon Dubchubleg alone in the kitchen when she came down for her usual late snack. We've talked and laughed for hours, and I can tell she is attracted. Hoping I've earned her, learn, hoping I've read her correctly, I lean in to whisper into her ear and make a lewd suggestion. Ah, <laughs> oh, the virtue is strong with this one. Well, this will work for a while, but I need to somehow get my piety up here. So, under intrigue, is there anything I can do here that will help? Uh, hold a feast. The month has to be November. The month has to be May. This costs money. Buy indulgence for my sins. Has personal wealth of whatever. Has uh, is not a heretic. What does this do? Oh, I lost twenty-five gold, and I bought indulgence for my sins. But my piety is now increasing over time. Excellent. Okay. Well. I'm not sure that was the best plan. I can have a holding a summer fair happen as well. It'll give me some more prestige. Oh! I made sure to attend a minor event in Dromath Fair in hopes of seducing Countess Dub Chubleg, but despite my best attempts, she remains unimpressed. I need more practice. I also need more piety. Now this would get the summer fair would give me prestige, so it might you know help me out here. Sisul, I should probably release her as well. Yes, go on. It's just not cool. The Holy Father has granted us absolution. Glory to God! I can wait. I can do this. Pope Alexander. I would lose, I would gain a ton of piety though. And you know what? Money's coming faster than the piety right now. There we go. Blew a bunch of cash on that. And uh, do I have anyone else? Yeah, my plot to kill this guy is not working particularly well. I wonder if I could seduce her instead. That might be the way to go. Maybe I should just seduce, go through the court seducing everyone. Mostly because I think that individual seems to be getting, you know, pretty mad. He doesn't like me. So, my ambition is to become king 
but I don't I don't know how this subjugation clause thing works. Sisul has been released, and now children lack a guardian. Okay, so what's my vassal? Oh, I shall confess my love and see what she does. Oh, she backed away from me, blushing and stammering, something about be being sorry about rushing off. I don't have the patience for this. Yeah, let's actually go to the court of Tyrone, right? We have this plot going on. I'm just wondering, totally guessing here, right? I wonder if I can seduce her and make her like me more. Focus my effort on her. She's 17! What a right age, I guess. For <laughs> I shall have her wrapped around my finger soon enough. Uh, invite holy man. No, I don't need. I don't want to blow piety on that, and I don't want to invite a noble or a debutante. Ah, my mission to Rowan during the visit to the court of Bishop Aid of Kildare. I have filled his ears with poisonous slander. Excellent. That's how that's going on there. What was I up to there? Do we have any technology to spend? No, obviously not. Yes, oh yes, guardians, guardians. So I wanted to take a look at my vassals and see if anybody needed a bit of a boost. Um, yeah, the Earl, yeah, Earl of Tyrone, I think if I, uh, but you know what, if you do that, you want someone to be in your court, otherwise you're sending your kids away elsewhere, which can be bad. Um, the mayor? Yeah, I think he could educate my child. Hold on. Educate child... And who has not been educated right now? There he is! Send. I made sure to attend this minor event in Elech, so I could seduce a Blihain. We've been dancing and conversing all night. Mead in my room, my lady. Uh, raise her opinion of me. I s oh, let's do that. Let's see if our. <laughs> I sure know how to cajole women. Ablin and I spent the night making sweet, illicit love. I snuck off in the wee hours, but I shall let her love grow. Now, I'm just wondering now that she is that. Yes, there. You see, I could have bribed her. But I instead decided to use my charms on her. Oh yeah. I'm wondering if there's anyone else. You know, these are all dudes. Uh, well, never mind. Wait, two children lack a guardian? We, God, everybody keeps needing guardians. Uh, sure, at this point. Your wisdom and mercy are legendary. I gladly accept guardianship. Excellent. Okay, and we have been released, not a problem, it's been released, been released, successful siege, etc. Okay. Okay, so Donmol Mach Malehe is now of legal age. He became a skilled tactician. What is my role? He's my, he's my kinsman. He's turned 16 and he has decent militaristic skills. We should probably find him a wife. He doesn't have any claims. He's in my court, I guess? Yeah, he's, uh... So, we have Princess of England. Now, we don't want you getting too much power, right? You wanna... Who's in my... Uh, wait a second, how do I do this again? I can arrange marriage, maybe, to someone in my... Orla! Yes, you'll be fine. What you are doing there? You should, you might, ah, uh, wait a second, I should I marry this guy off or not? She wants to get married, I don't know. Maybe I'll just wait, I'll wait until he wants to get married so I can improve his opinion. Okay, well never mind, let's, let's uh, leave that off. I need to figure out how to make money here. Oh my god, Imag, Imag! Um, and she was uh, my vassal, man, he, he is just like, Everyone around him dies in childbirth. That's not cool. Did she? Ha and so that means that he has more than one heir. And our knowledge of heavy infantry it does great, better things. Okay. He doesn't have a wife. I wonder if I can 
arranged marriage. He's like 36. He's the heir. So, like, if I... do, Can I marry him? Suggest my daughter or something to him? Does that work? Uh, I don't know. I, 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 I forget this whole marriage thing, how this works. <laughs> this could be absolutely disastrous if I suggest such a thing. Uh... I should probably just let him do his thing right now. You know, no, wait a sec. You know, hold on. Okay. Uh, yeah, his wife is arrange marriage to. That's my courtier. Oh, maybe arrange betrothal. Hold on. Arrange betrothal. Ah, what the heck? Okay. Arrange the betrothal of. Where's this dude go? Flabbergasted or something was his name. Flabbergasted, and I can't do this. Uh, really. Orlathe. No, never mind. This is just not gonna work. I select the potential bride and groom. Because, you know, I get a daughter here somewhere. Now, I thought I would have a daughter, but I clearly can't figure this one out. Wait, I'm arranging a marriage from one... Uh, this... this is very confusing. Okay. <laughs> Arrange betrothal. There he is. Ah! There! God, this user interface is really, really good. There, I'm gonna... Uh, suggest that you marry my daughter when she's old enough so that there will be at least an alliance that'll... You know, stop you, whatever. Um, this character was born and is thus disqualified from the line of succession. That seems like a good choice. <laughs> Why not? Now let's watch my money come in. I'm waiting for the option to let the, the jury come back because I am still suffering negatively from that. I expelled the Jews and so my diplomacy is poor as, re as a result. And I think I suffer from terrible, um, what's the word? Yeah, terrible, like, tech development or whatever. Okay, I could improve diplomatic relations, so descent. He's still res- oh, he's researching. Let's uh, collect taxes, actually, in here. Yes, we need you to collect monies, as much monies as you can spare. Oh! Wait a sec, a, co a daughter was born to to King Brian of Mumu and... Wait, wait, oh wait, I see, this is, um... Seems my amorous adventures have resulted in a child. Okay, well that's their name. Um... Who, who have we got? My wife. She's Queen of Mumu. She has a very low opinion of me. Uh, she's humiliated. She is pleased. Who's Orla's opinion? All oh, everyone's opinion gets bad off me. I'm just going to acknowledge her. Uh, wait a second. If she ever has children, a new dynasty will be created for that line. I see. Hmm... The mother is most pleased. So who, who is this? Is this because relations? I have one lover. Marriage ties. So who are these people? Cassine? Who's Cassin? Where does that person come from? Okay, oh wait, I click it here. Oh, my son is displeased. My lover. Um, my other son. Basically, the whole family gets mad at me for, for legitimizing her. That's what it is. I'm just going to acknowledge her as mine. Why not? Come on, I need the money so I can create this claim. My piety is slowly increasing, I think. Maybe it started decreasing. Um, can I change my focus to be religious yet? Oh, my seduction focus is finished now. So maybe uh, scholarship, theology, learning... Conditions. Uh, yeah, let's do theology for a while to select. Or stewardship actually might work. Business. That Oh, that'll help me. Rulership. Yeah, let's do business. That means I'll have more cash, hopefully. 
Uh, did I just notice this thing going down? No, my piety is increasing, but at this rate it will take a long time to increase all the way up before I can create this. And um, I have my dude here. He is trying to find me a claim against uh, this county. Why not attack Ossery? It's, uh, it's just sitting there waiting to be taken. It is but a matter of time. Low priority message. Tad O'Brien has contracted smallpox. Who the heck is he? He is my courtier. Can I banish him or something? How do I get? How do I keep you away from me? Get away! We should imprison you. But I, oh, I can afford to lose piety. No, nope, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to order you to take the vows and get out of here. And I have a child that lacks a guardian. Um, educate a child. And oh yeah, I should take take a look at my vassals and see who who needs. Who needs some love? Click on you. Slow down, slow down, slow down. That's a bit more like it. Okay, vassals. Who hates me? Lots. Uh, yeah, Mayor of Limerick. Could you educate my child? This child. Um, which one was it? It's the one without the... Oh, he's got it. Okay, yes! Said that'll make you very happy, and it'll mean that you're sending more money my way again. Okay, my piety is slowly increasing. May you live in harmony and contentment. I gladly accept the guardianship contract between Kaysen and Mayor Ernan. Yes, okay. And this is slowly increasing. Okay, I've got the money. Got the money, I just need the piety, and I still have children lacking the guardian. Ooh! Armagold MacCathal claims he would make a better spy master than Dunarach, and petitions that he should be given the title Spy Master of the Petty Kingdom of Mimimu. Um, would he be better? He is now my new spy master. Who is this? He is, he is this dude, right? He's just a dude. He's building a spy network. He's a crap spy master to be honest right he has a thing of nine and this guy has a thing of eleven but he's a brilliant strategist he's also a battlefield terrain master I don't know I think I would think that he would be better on the battlefield oh but he's been blinded interesting how did that happen how, how did he get blinded what 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 I don't get what befell him. He's lustful, he's blinded, he's gluttonous, he's greedy. Man. I don't know. Uh, uh, oh yeah, he also has a pretty low opinion of me. So... Eh... Uh, I think I'm just gonna give him a chance. I will lose prestige and oh my god, I'm gonna ask for a chance for a little while. But maybe I should kill him off. Maybe this whole plot thing- Oh yeah, plot power is getting stronger! There we go. Maybe this guy will die eventually. I never did figure out- Did I betroth his- Yes, he's betrothed. Since I've arrived, there's never been a lack of people doing things. Ah! Oh there! He has inherited the country- County from this dude. A daughter was born. Uh, and Daryl named Sitach. That's good to know. Okay. So who who gained the thing there? I was confused. County of Desmond. Oh, he, he gained control. Hmm. The sudden expulsion of several important Jewish merchants has done some damage to the economy of your realm. It would seem they played a bigger role in the economic development of Todhum. <laughs> Then your advisors gave them credit for. <sighs> I have no idea what I'm doing now. I'm really... <laughs> this started out working so well, but I clearly have no clue what's going on. Uh, Brailin, Kildur, Osri. I can't declare war just yet, right? 
he is incapable. Oh, and he, I think he just died, actually. I just saw that flick over for but a moment. Yeah, I think, uh, yeah, he just died, maybe? Oh, Earl Merchant of Lagan is trying to usurp my title. His Chancellor is supposedly traveling around trying to find both documents and supporters to help him legitimize a claim on the title. I need to do something about him. I could make him disappear. I could bribe him. Yes. I can afford to lose gold, but I can't afford to lose money. I've decided to accept your generous offer, and rest assured I won't find anything that can be used to fabricate a claim within the next year. That's good, okay. And children lack guardians. Uh, who can educate my child? Educate child. Oh, yes, yeah, sure, you can educate my child. That'll improve your opinion of me. Having a, a spy master that has low opinion is a bad thing. And he wants to be my spy master. And he is better at it than the other dude, but man, it, it sucks. So what, what is, how did he get his skills? I don't get that. He has all these battlefield skills, but clearly that's not very good. This guy's losing piety as well. Oh, my wife Githa is pregnant. That's pretty impressive since she absolutely hates me. <laughs> unfaithful, I, she hates me because I'm an unfaithful lesher and because she was fired from the council. Uh, I acknowledge someone, and I'm proud versus humble or something. But, but hey, oh, apparently, hold on. She likes me more because I'm an asp aspiring seducer. Well, that'll be another legitimate heir. A big happy family here. The stubborn Baron of Turd him is getting on my nerves. My wife Githa sensed my irritation and offered to give me advice on the matter. Her diplomatic skill has saved me many times before. I hope she can save me now. So wait a second. I can gain prestige. Or, uh, or I can do this. Ah, yeah, that seems like... I'm going to do that. I'm perfectly happy with the fate, way things are. I've gained the content trait. Tad Brain has died a natural death. Who was that dude? This guy is still here. My my plot power has not gone anywhere. There used to be like a the ability to go on uh, pilgrimages, but I haven't seen that in a while. Okay, it's 1084 and all's well. <sighs> and this guy still has not found me the important docks that I need. He's trying to fabricate claims. It says there's a 10% chance yearly that this will work. Oh, now I need another guardian. <sighs> uh, educate child. Who's the, why would this guy be a good... Ch uh, can you be that? Can you educate him? I mean, okay, you might gain gluttonous and things like that. And a... Son was born! Dodgicus! Okay, he's got a guardianship as well now. <sighs> Everybody's losing their guardians! Gotta make sure that she has a guardian at the appropriate age. My mission has been awesome! Educate child. Who's this dude? Oh yeah, totally. You, you, you teach her the skills of why would... I don't get that. Um, Githa, you teach her, right? You teach her your skills in, in diplomacy. And, and children lack a guardian. And you lack a guardian. And you, actually, you are awesome militaristically. So yes, you teach this dude how to fight. Because having generals is useful. Okay, now I have the prestige! I can create the title! Hallelujah! Okay, so this will cost me 360 gold, 200 piety, and I will become King of Ireland. I have created the title Kingdom of Ireland. I fulfilled the ambition to become King of Ireland, and now 
I can hold a grand tournament. What? Sure, what does that mean? Oh, I can welcome the Jews back. Yes, let's do that. Mistakes were made. Let us not dwell on them. Now I can immediately borrow money from them. I can hold a grand tournament. So I lose gold and I gain prestige. A lot of prestige. Let all the knights of the realm be invited. Why not? I've sent forth messengers around the realm to spread the word that a grand tournament will be held. What ambition can I possibly have now? Amass wealth or become a paragon of virtue? I'm going to try and amass wealth. Why not, since I've succeeded in becoming a, the King of Ireland? So now, can I declare war? Oh, I can now have, I now have cl a claim over everything, basically, right? So I can bring my dudes in and attack them one at a time. Or I could offer vassalization, right? That's the other thing I can do. And he'll say no. Why does it base reluctance? I have yeah. There's a power thing, but there's a base reluctance thing. Maybe some of these guys have a better opinion of me. No, nope, he doesn't either. But this guy, he uh, has a decent thing. I don't know. Offer vassalization? No. I'm yeah. I'm not sure why that works. Okay. You would think. He would be just like all over being my, uh, being, becoming part of my empire. Oh, he's a duke. You know what? I need to get rid of these guys. I need to take them down one at a time. Okay, so here, Kildare and whatever. Who's, he's got both of these, right? So this guy's on his own. If I do these two together, this, this is the guy to attack, right? Ah, Bran, I've become the King of Ireland. So declare war against you. Set, uh, did you do your claim? Send. Raise armies. Everywhere. All the armies. All of the time. I'm gonna put you guys, run you guys in there. You guys get together there. It is time to let the tournament begin. For the next two months, it will show their martial brilliance. Sadly, a small war will delay this. Oops, that's a bad plan. So I guess the, the tournament... I should have waited. <laughs> that was a really bad plan, wasn't it? I'm completely terrible at this game. You can run down here. Actually, let's do this. Let's meet up in Connacht. And we'll merge there. And then take on this little army, heads on. Once they're together, there will be nothing to stop us. There you go, one there and one there. And now merge yourselves into one giant mass of fighting capability. Wander across Ireland into Osseray and start sieging their lands. His army is running out of the way, I should probably... Oh, my liege, there is a rumor here that one of the local nobles might be corrupt. Handled wisely, this information might be used to implicate one of your enemies here. Then use it as you see fit. Sure, why not? Oh, Dundach is no longer spymaster. He was murdered on the orders of Erdomnol of Tyrone. Man, that's an interesting one. That noble he was investigating in Erd seems to reasonable, but I have no proof. Damn him, enemy! Anyway, well, that didn't quite work the way I expected. Still, I need a spy master, and Merchad Courtier. He doesn't like me at all. Almagad actually likes me, so I'm taking him. You do not want to have your spy master being someone that doesn't like you. Because he's the one that gets close to you and gets to do all sorts of, uh, gets to kill you basically. Now what I don't understand is, maybe I'm missing something here, but it takes forever to siege this. Oh, I have poisonous viper, sure, don't point that thing at me. 
And, 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 and. Failure, he managed to evade it, whatever. What? I don't get why this army doesn't siege these holdings first. It would be a lot easier, surely. I just have to wait for this to you know, burn down slowly. 4%. 1085. Okay. 4% every 12 days, which means it's going to take a long, long time. It's going to take the better part of a year to defeat this thing. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Since I arrived, there's been never a shortage of troops. I know, and I'm sending the troops to do their important work here. And hopefully, after defeating this, yes, I can now enforce demands. Offer peace, enforce demands, send. Irish Assyrian du de jour war over Austria has ended. King, whatever, has won. Stand down. Disband unit. All levies will return home. Everything is looking good. New important decisions. Okay, let's hold this grand tournament. The tournament begins soon. Oh, I should... Who is this? Dennis? Wait, it says Dennis? That doesn't look like a Dennis. Can I ransom you? No. What's the point in getting prisoners you can't ransom? It's not cool. There's, I'm sure there's something I can do, some leverage I can gain. It's time to let the tournament begin for the next two months. Let us all show their martial brilliance. And you know what? Spymaster needs to be doing something. Ske no, build spy network. Uh, wait a second. Scheme in my home territory. There we go. So it's a scheme here. There we go. Everybody's working there. We should close this. I've been imprisoned. But only because... Only because she was part of that little war thing. Dermot O'Brien has been crowned the winner of my grand tournament. Okay. Is that it? Earl Tag does bravery when I'm second place, so he gets more points. An honorable third place was the result of my efforts. Oh, I won something! Excellent! I gained gold and prestige for winning my own tournament. That's a ton of prestige. That is excellent. Okay, so next one would be Kildare. But I think, God, oh man, I've spent so much time on this. Time has gone by, there's like an hour I've blown on this game. So yes, I am King of Ireland, but Ireland is not yet united under my crown. There is still dissension in the Isle, but I shall bring them under my iron fist soon. Perhaps in future episodes. Until then, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe.